Hi. Now, what I've got here is an alternative way of finding out this value of k when we've got this equation of a tangent, y equals 2x plus k, we're told being a tangent to the circle c. This is not a method that I would want to use in a question like this, as it's quite lengthy. But nonetheless, it's a useful exercise. What I'm going to be doing is substituting 2x plus k for y into the equation of a circle to find out what the corresponding x value will be. What I'm going to be using though is the fact that it's going to turn out to be a quadratic equation and we know that if it's to be a tangent there's just going to be one root, one solution. So for that condition to hold the discriminant of the quadratic b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. And that's going to allow me to form an equation in k, as you'll see. And I'll solve that, and I should get my value of k. OK, so we start then with, for that point of contact, I'm just substituting 2x plus k in for that y here. All right? And what I'm going to do next is expand all of this. And to save time, it's quite lengthy, you'll need to check it out, you should get this result here. When I've squared out this bracket, I've jumped a few stages. We've got two terms inside the bracket when it's squared, so remember you square the first term. So if you were to square 2x plus k, you'll get your 4x squared plus 4xk plus k squared. Then you get twice the product of these two terms. So what I've got here is 2 times the product of minus 5 times the 2x plus k, giving me minus 10x minus 5k. And then you square the last term here. That's the plus 25. OK, so do check that out. Then I've just grouped together all the terms. And if you group together the x squared terms, the x terms, and then the constants, you should find you get this line here. OK? Now we do the bit where we've got a quadratic equation. We know there should be one root, so you would expect the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, to equal 0. And the b is this part here, 4k minus 34. We've got 4 times a, a is the 5, and c is this bracket here. Now if you put that down, put it equal to 0, you're going to get this equation. All I'm going to do now is just expand this, and if you do that, you end up with this line here. You'll see you've got a quadratic equation in k squared, so I just need to simplify this. So if I do simplify that, you're going to get this. And now I can see that I could divide through by negative 4 to each term, and I get a much simpler quadratic equation. And I can factorize this. Factorizing it in the usual way gives me k minus 1 times k plus 19 equals 0. Now, that would lead to k minus 1 equaling 0, or k plus 19 equals 0. Well, if k minus 1 equals 0, that would lead to k equaling 1. And we know that can't be the case, because k cannot equal 1. That would give us this tangent. So therefore, k plus 19 must equal 0, leading to k equaling minus 19. So I hope you've been able to uh, see that method. As I say, it's not one that I would want to use, just purely because the algebra is quite lengthy through these stages here. OK, so thanks for watching, and uh, that brings us now to the end of this video.